Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the book of Haggai. Haggai. Uh, uh, it's a very important book and, uh, and I'd like to encourage you to read, to read the whole book. It's a very powerful book and it's with so many lessons for us, so many lessons for us. And, uh, and before I read the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel to share this video with your friends and families and, and help us to bless other people. Verse for today, Haggai chapter 1 verse 12. Chapter 1 verse 12, look at that. Then Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the whole remnant of the people obeyed the voice of the Lord their God and the message of the prophet Haggai because the Lord their God had sent him, and the people feared the Lord. That is the dream coming true to every prophet, every preacher, every messenger. That is the dream coming true. You, God give you a message, you deliver a message, and the people respond to the message. And, and here, and he puts the name of the people. He puts the, that is the king or the, or the leader, the governor there, and then the high priest. So those two more important people in that in, in that place there, and then the rest of the people, the remnant of the people, they obey the voice of the Lord, their God, and the message of the prophet. They obeyed. The message was clear. Hey, you came here to rebuild my house. That, that was it. That is, that is your mission. You are here just for that, to rebuild my house. And you are not doing that. I want you to, to do it. And the prophet delivered the message. The people suffered the consequences, right? Because we saw that in the, in the, in the verses, in the videos before this. Uh, if you read the, 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 the chapter 1, you're going to see the people suffered the consequence for not doing what they were supposed to do with the house of the Lord. And then when Haggai delivers the message, the people, it clicked. I said, oh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And the people obeyed. The people obeyed the voice of the Lord. So there's two things very important here. First of all, the people understood that what Haggai was saying was the voice of the Lord, which is great. Which is great. When you read the scriptures, when you listen to a pastor preaching, and if he is preaching the word of the Lord, that's very important. <laughs> you recognize that it's God talking and you need to do something. When God speaks, we obey. Simple like that. You cannot get complicated on that one. If God is speaking, we need to listen and we need to obey. And this is what happened here. And it, it's, it's great. The people, yeah, they, they understood, said, okay. It's not just a guy talking. It's not just a speaker talking. This is God talking through his message. God is speaking to us. And we need to do something. We need to do something. And they did. From the governor, the high priest, the rest of the people. They did. They obey. Okay, what we need to, what we're supposed to do, let's do it. Let's do it. This is my dream. Not only when I preach, when I teach Sunday school, or, or, or a simple meditation like this, is that people will listen my words. But not only my words, they will listen the Word of God through me. 
and they will realize that it's God speaking through me. And they will say, okay, what do I need to do? Let's do it. Let's do it. They will respond. That's a dream, a dream of every preacher, every messenger, every prophet. That's a dream. That's a dream. That when I preach, when I teach, when I share a short, med short meditation like this one, people will listen, they will understand, and they will realize that God is talking to them, and they will respond and obey. This has happened when I read the scriptures. And when you read the scriptures, not only in a sermon or, or, or teaching or Sunday school class or some Bible study. No, when you read the scriptures and, and you listen what God is saying, you understand that God is speaking to you. And you need to do something. You need to act based on that word. This is what the... We have the word, and this is what we need to do. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.